having a few bitches drinking on this Monday. That's little brother. Loving it. I got a new album just came out. It's only two of them. Yeah. Who, who, who? Who, who that? Fontaine? No, I don't think Fontaine. Ain't Fontaine? Fontaine? But you know how that thing goes, man. With this bitch, man. You know, we're going back in the... It was doo wop in there. It's my always be. <laughs> you ain't nothing without me. How does it feel to be me, Otis? But, uh, yeah, man. We sitting back right here. On this Monday, man, we discussed the whole Andrew Luck thing, man, and how we felt about that. Um, gonna go ahead and get off into another subject, man. Smokey D, man, we sitting right here. We walked in the house having a few beers, you know, we stepped outside, took a smoke. It's like, hey, I got a subject. I said, what's that? He said, what do you think about this one? Trump really ain't a bad idea. So I asked him to explain it. He explained it. I said, hold on. We're going to talk about that on the radio. So, Smokey D, red carpet. Trump ain't a bad idea. I'm listening. All right, let me clarify. I'm not a Trump supporter. You know what I'm saying? I ain't not one of them, man. You know, I would put me or mention me in the name, same name as them. But as we look at former presidents, man, and things that happen, and even the state of this country, man, like how people try to hide shit and act like things ain't happening, like racism or something like that. Just to make it, you know what I'm saying, we all the world holding hands and shit like that. You get this nut who comes in the office, man, and <laughs> hey man, he basically is telling you, man, what everybody else is really feeling and something like that. And then once that started happening when he's on Twitter addressing certain things, uh, you know what I'm saying, he, like that whole fiasco that happened down there in North Carolina with them um, white supremacists and everything like that. I'm, I started to see, man, just walking this, uh, in, even in the city, man, on how real you motherfuckers feel about certain people and everything now. They're not afraid to hide things now. I guess you got this president who is so damn, um, arrogant or bold, bold and blunt with things, you know what I'm saying? They feel like they got the whole different pair of nut sets, you know what I'm saying? Now, they can, they can swing with their nuts and everything like that. And then let, let's be real truthful on here, man, about whole, whole situations like uh, the illegal immigrants. I don't hate Mexican people whatsoever. And, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of people that. Yes. So, built another country. So, meaning keeping all the resources here? Not resources. But Not resources, but all the uh, manufacturing and distribution here in America? Yeah, so it can go back to this country instead of you you buying everything I'm, out of it. I'm 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 technically not mad at that particular idea. Because we do hey, we do need to go ahead and build the economy up, especially in certain states that that need you know, this this type of industrial traffic. As far as like warehouse logistical and all that other stuff. And a lot of that stuff, you know, it does get transported from another country because the goods and services are cheaper. You get what I'm saying? So I understand his plan. Right. I just don't like how it's being executed. That's what I say, man. It's it's, 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 kind of like vigilant, almost, the way he's executing his plan. You get what I'm saying? Almost a dictatorship, almost. A dictator will tell you what they're doing and you go go through it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like a lot of people... Especially the Republicans, man, who always got something to say, especially when Obama was in office. Mm-hmm. They ain't saying shit now, you know what I'm saying? For Trump being there. It's like y'all scared to open y'all mouths or something like that. Uh, except for, like, oh, God bless his I mean, not God bless his soul, but rest in peace, John McCain. McCain was often, you know, vocal about what Donald Trump was doing and the way he was doing the shit, you know? He was like, he might have had his idea, but. His presentation sucks. Right. You know, so he needs to work on that. And that, that, that's one thing I always talk to people I always talk to people about. And I'm with you. I'm not a Trump supporter at all. You know. But business wise, you can understand certain things. Because America, like I say, America is a corporation. It, it, it does have though that mission statement of a corporation. Right. And 
the thing about it is, is that the way he's presenting it to people who are not understanding of that level, they're not gonna understand it. You get what I'm saying? They're gonna look at it like, oh, you just wanna start some shit, or you just wanna start a war with China. You know, you you just want some bullshit, you know, because of the the tweets and you know your history of what you've been saying, you know. The biz, like I said, the business part about it, I understand because it will help America a lot as an economy if goods and service was manufactured and distributed here. Like it used to be. Like it used to be. You know, but a lot of companies have went overseas because of the taxes here in this country. And that's why a lot of companies went over. Let's not forget, a lot of these companies that's over there in China are American country, are American companies. That went over there because of the taxes. And they know they can get some cheap labor. You get what I'm saying? And see, it's all about the mighty dollar, man. You know, they don't even care about what's going on in the country. They care about, like you say, getting cheap labor. Yeah, it's it's, it's all about breaks. cheap labor, man. And that's what it is. It's like, okay, if we keep it in-house, we could boom our economy. But at the same time, we don't, we wouldn't need, there would be no need for cheap labor. Because right. it would be like a cycle. Everything is going in and out. The money is coming in, coming back in. Plus, the product is going back out. All that. So, I understand him from that point of view. Like, I think today he's supposed to sit down. He's supposed to have sat down with China and and discuss, you know, try to negotiate something. But when I'm reading it, saying that this shit could go on to the 2020 election until another president get in. Oh, let's go do that, man. I mean, you know, he put it recently over the weekend. It was a 10% uh, tariff on uh, all the goods. Now you didn't put a 15% tariff on the uh, goods and everything like that. No, um, he, 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 just, he just had us a bad way of going about things. And he's so used to doing things his way and saying things his way. It's like, now that I'm president and I told y'all I was going to be president, it's like, what can y'all do? It's like the cockiness I don't think people enjoy. You get what I'm saying? And the cockiness has caused other people who can't think for themselves to go ahead and try to imitate that character. Well, guess what? He has a lot of protective custody around him. You don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think people need to take a, a, a rain check on that tough shit just because you hear this man doing it. And, and it comes from... We, we live in a copycat era Social media, TV Everybody want to copy what they see Because there's no real guidance And motherfucker pull that shit at me at the gas station You know, Caucasian I'm just trying to get in line You know what I'm saying I'm like, you know um, Can you like not be at this ATM that way On the side Can you be horizontal You know what I'm saying So I can get and check out Motherfucker act like he didn't hear me So I asked him again Still stuck off the space, so I'm waving his uh, by his eyes, you know, about five centimeters from there. I'm like, dude, uh, can you hear me, man? You know, we neck and neck, you know what I'm saying? Can mm-hmm. I just, can I breathe? Get outside, putting gas in his car. Think none of it. Going across the street to my job, then he stops. Hey, you piece of shit! You better watch yourself. I said calmly, you want to do something? Get out the car. I said, stop looking at TV, man. Um, I guess most of them gave y'all all kind of uh, um, <laughs> uh, super country back up and not have everybody buying us. And that mind, like, and also had to talk with my buddy Lalo, which is also a Mexican. He think anybody is, but when you're to a community to where you're not really missing the beat, because I remember I worked in Ferrera, Ferrera uh, Candy Factory. The instructions, all that was said in Spanish. You get what I'm saying? Most of the workers in there was said in Spanish. If we had them come, it was it was like that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just telling you my experience. Not saying everything was like that. I'm just telling you my experience. So I kind of that's why I say like I have experienced the good and the bad when it comes to working with like the Mexican, the, the Hispanics in 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 the work field. You know, but I can also understand like. Why some people would feel the way they feel because they didn't have bad experiences dealing with Mexicans in the workplace. Yeah, man, I'm glad you emphasized about the ones who, you know, what I'm saying, who born here and the ones who don't. I mean, who are not from here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
and like you say, they feel like somebody trying to take some shit or something. Well, if you think about it, we should feel that way because we was doing this shit before y'all came about today. Let y'all flood it like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But every brother I've seen, probably, man, you go to the factory and everything, they try to help everybody out. They don't have any presence or anything like that, but they'll get fucked over. I ain't gonna say brothers like because I have worked with brothers too that no that's it's okay they look Some out for themselves too like you know so they, I, I said that you know be, because when I was talking to my Mexican buddies they was telling me like and then I, I got to that realization like it ain't no different I thought it was just our culture it's actually in all cultures to be honest so you seen the crab in the barrel shit yeah the crab in the barrel is in all cultures the only thing with them though is certain shit they will stick together i give them that they stick together and they also will have the backing of the company because a lot of them work for cheap you get what i'm saying a lot of it was it was mexicans that i worked with at ferrera that they didn't even have their papers but they've been working at ferrera for about 20 30 years how are they gonna get a pension they could never get a pension they have to work for the rest of their life until they die or save their money you get what I'm saying? That's fucked up. That's why man. I say I can understand why some people are like, come on, man. And then I, I had one, or I had talked to this one man, so he was like, well, who, who's going to cut the grass? Who's going to take care of this? Who's going to do this? And I looked at him, I say, I guess them niggas that was out in them fields <laughs> and all that other shit, they, they ain't do shit, right? They, they just pick cotton all their motherfucking life. They ain't grow vegetables and do all that other shit. You get, I, I wanted to say that, but. I didn't want to go to war like that. You get what I'm saying? I, I let you say your piece, and I understand this day and time, they do provide most of those services for us. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm not going to lie. Shit to just say out loud. Bro, I understand man. that, but, you know, it, it, it was like, I, I took it as a slap in the face when he said it, but I was like, you know, I did ask a motherfucking opinion about it. You get what I'm saying? So I, I can't, like, you know... Punch yeah. you back with something Like Yeah like Niggas ain't never cut grass before We don't know what the fucking line more is No shit like that Motherfucker Oh landscaping What What the fuck is that I ain't never heard that word I grew up I grew up with a garden in the backyard man I know I grew up with anybody Yeah I just don't want to go back But You know it, it's, it's just like I, I just don't like the way He's going about it but at the same time, me being open-minded and have certain experiences with the culture, not not all of them, I can say I can understand people's feelings as to be like, I have no problem with this. Right. Because some of them are here illegally and you have people who are born here and got shot here, killed here, been through all type of welfare and they can barely get welfare. You get what I'm saying? They can barely get a credit card. They can they can barely go get a bank account, but these people coming here they getting businesses, you know, getting getting all that. Yeah, that man. I mean, healthcare for free. I'm talking about. And you gotta understand, you work, I work, we pay for that. Right. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, I guess Trump feel like if we paying for that. Why not have our workers in there that's here legally do that? Yeah, I mean, I, like I say, I, I cannot fault him for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if it was, everything was hunky-dory and like, just say, man, you know, you had leftovers or something like that that you can give somebody. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, man, I can give you that. But if you starving yourself and you looking at the motherfucker getting <laughs> Get in the pot before you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What we'll make this motherfucker better than me, or you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Well, he don't stay in the house and he getting food and shit. You look, I'm, I'm paying bills. This motherfucker. Come. That's how people feel when they're about them jobs, man, and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And then I, I don't know what his whole thing is with this gender thing, but I think he was trying to stop them from just like as far as they're using the washroom shit, which I got experience on because I used to be a greyhound. Basically, a guy saying he a girl, he go walk in the women's washroom. I'm a female, dude. You still got a dick, man. You, nah, man. How you you can offend the women in there who are actual ladies? Hey, 
the south and in the hoods understood without saying this a given and ain't cause of what I'm doing for a living is more because of what I did this shot sipping from my clothes existed and still five birds on my mama kitchen you might see me by the perp place I got soldiers on deck baby face gripping what you know about that I keep a bad printer with them birds top back my jeans feeling tight come on fuck the back play a better know that no, I'm hustler, I keep the street blazing yeah. The brakes don't sell, I drive them up to sell races Why y'all cherry picking hustlers, out here slaving Can't shit, nigga, run deep in my brain Pump through my heart, I live in my bone marrow, man That's pimping, my game is premium like pop time Can't tell me nothing about a stack of need to bitch of mine Can't go to church, it's in the seat of the throne Overruled other dudes, like season didn't roll Feel the breath so demanding that the aura so strong The South ain't been represented like Focus on the road to the money where I'm going. It won't be waiting long for me. Cause them niggas racing, trying to get there before me. Visions of Tony floating face down in this fountain. It was blood and cocaine just pouring out of Got me cautiously plotting. Failure not an option when the stakes is this high. You rolling crash with diamonds, dice, shit, dead serious, intense like two white cops in your review mirror. They might cut their lights on just to cut your lights out when you was just chilling. These thoughts in the back of the mind of every black man living at the same time. Gotta watch my step, it's an active mind feel. This ain't no motherfucking movie set, but I make it look easy. Catching stunts, just breezing. Believe me, I got a joint lit if I'm not sleeping. Every option on it, moon roof, alloys, and bold speakers. Leather seats playing for keeps. All my people, stadium seats to the pub leaders. Rolling through some gold was on my spaceship. Rolling through some chrome was on my spaceship. I roll it out the window and I'm just Camouflage when the halo's your disguise. The wings don't fly. Your traitor is your neighbor. Down, homie. Now make a move. These guns whistle, sizzle up, dudes who got big mouths, no power. Run of the bank with no dollars. Got the nerd to switch crews. We better than the rest of them. I guess it's the estrogen and all the money we got. But move like the Mexicans, a cartel, compound, a carvel, a large scale of Scarsdale. I f with golf now, Shalaz L. Yeah, the f is fresh, straight out of Bermuda, yo. A chillin' on the beach in Boca Chica with tuna, salads and palaces, yo. We smoke out them chalices, passing all balances of bread to the Allen since The chambers is 36, the new one improved. Then, watch this like tires being spent. Shots 
from everywhere, but they never make a dent. When you see nah, I'm about to ball. Going out. That's why you might be swingers or something in that nature. Never, uh, you're not messing. I'm to do that. Because like, what kind of man am I to tell?